Our local food banks continue to see a need in our area, and this weekend, a local new business is opening its doors for the first time. Inviting you in, though, they're hosting an event that you can participate in to help out and also get something that tastes pretty good. John Roby is the co-owner of a new ice cream shop on Central Avenue, and it is so good to speak with you, John. You. I'm sitting here, everybody's drooling over the different choices that you have in the ice cream here. You know, I, you have decided to open your doors locally. We're coming out of a tough economic time. <laughs> Big gamble, or are you encouraged by the signs you're seeing locally? Well, we're, we're encouraged. We opened actually on um, December the 8th with a soft opening and mm -hmm. had a couple of free days, and we've had a wonderful reception mm -hmm. since that time. Our business continues to grow, and we're gaining momentum. This and, is uh, a wonderful idea, and it is something that is in this, well, you're in Central and McCord there, right in by uh, that shopping plaza? That's right. And the Tiger Bakery, you said, Tiger right? Bakery, Avenue Bistro, BW3s. Well, tell them. us about, you know, you are, are teaming up and you have a 20% discount for anyone who brings in a food item. Tell me why you decided to do that. Well, uh, hunger is one of those things that's difficult to, to um, wrap your hands around. You can't take a picture of hunger. Um, for a news station, you don't get a video of, of mm -hmm. hunger like you might in a flood or a crash or something like that. So we thought that since it is uh, really a quiet crisis, we thought we would do something to, to um, help the community, help the Northwest Ohio Food Bank. You know, they, mm -hmm. they serve are. eight counties and they, they have over 300 agencies that they provide goods to, which then in turn dishes it out to needy people in the community and we wanted to be part of that. Well if you so what people if they bring in a non-perishable food non -perishable item. Non-perishable food give me item. A list, just give me sort of a laundry list of the things you're talking about. Um, it could be green beans, it could be a can of peaches, mm -hmm. a bag of rice, um, really anything that you might have in your pantry that's non-perishable mm -hmm. and not expired. We want to... There you go. Not expired. <laughs> and not the beans that your kids don't eat. You know, they bring in the good stuff yeah, is what sure. we're saying. Well, tell us a little bit about you. Our specialty, you've got ice cream. How many? 50 flavors did I say? Or Our, see, our or? store is a self-serve frozen yogurt and ice cream store. Okay. We have 18 flavors of yogurt and ice cream every day. Oh, how and fun. we have 50 toppings. And the toppings are anything from the sweetest of candies to the freshest of fruits. And right That's now one of the most popular fruits we're serving is fresh raspberries, even though they're not in season. We're, really? We're when keeping them in self -serve, stock. When you say self-serve, is that where the kids get to make their own sundaes They and make such? their own. They come in, they grab a cup, <laughs> they a go feeling. to the machine and pick any of the 18 flavors that they want, mm -hmm. and then they go to the topping bins and put on their 50 toppings or whatever toppings they choose, along with fountain syrups, hot fudge, and caramel, and Gosh. all of that. All right, can you just see it now? I mean, the kids are going to be putting the gummy bears on along with just about anything. Gummy bears seem to always make it on there. I'm gummy thinking. bears <laughs> are a big seller. For the little ones, yeah. for the for the parents, it's the yogurt and the fresh fruit. What a fun idea. I've not ever seen that. Well, haven't you? It's, no, I haven't. Um, so we'll have to come out and visit you guys. It was wonderful. Well, we would invite all of you also to come out, and it's this Saturday. It's the noon grand opening. Our ribbon cutting is Saturday at noon. Okay. Uh, if people will bring a canned good at any time, we would like to collect a thousand cans by February 1st or a thousand pieces of food by February 1st to donate to the food bank. Okay. And people will get a 20% discount on their treat. We call them self-inspired treats because people they are, are self-inspired. Are putting it together themselves. <laughs> you get to and, be creative. And uh, everybody has a smile on their face when they go through the store and, and get to make up their own I have uh, a dessert. feeling that that's where we'll be going because that sounds like a fun outing and yeah. a good treat for the kids when they get to make their own. Thank you so much, John. Thank we you. appreciate it. Thank you for what you do. And again, we they invite you by and the, just give us again your location and everything. We're at Central in McCord mm -hmm. in the plaza that has BW3's, okay. Sherwin-Williams Avenue Bistro. Koala Bear. All right. Thank Koala you so much. Bear.